So let's use the simple sampler instrument to create our own instrument that we can play using MIDI from another sample. So I've loaded a nice sample in here and I've done the regions so we can see roughly the key of the sound it's found. And we can see right at the start here, we've got uh, this sort of hit on G. We're going to try and find a note among this. I think probably here. And we'll zoom in, we'll try and find a zero crossing. It's going to be a little bit harder um, because it's very stereo, but somewhere around here we might be okay. That's a pretty good single note, I like that. So let's drag that in like we would have before. So we've now got that single note and we know it's a G sharp. So we can actually delete that from the playlist. It's loaded up here for us. It's always going to show as the most recent one. We can see it's just a single sample. So what we need to do now is just set it up so it can work as a MIDI instrument. Going to our settings before, we've got this keyboard at the bottom here and it's currently set to C5 but we know our note because it showed us in Edison that it's a G sharp so where this says C5 we need to go to G sharp so we should be able to go across our keyboard and figure out where that's going to be so we've got C D E F and G G sharp is going to be here we can just right click on there and you see it now sets the root note to be on G this is important because when we play anything in MIDI, it's going to pitch it from that position. So if we were to open the piano roll now, and up here in the top, we can change to the right sound. And we'll just make it a new pattern as well. So we're a bit low, if we go up an octave, too high. Probably somewhere around here, look. If we have this up, we can see roughly where we've been doing it from. See right there, that's triggering the sample as it is. But we can also play most of that octave pretty well. So we know it's in G sharp. If we choose some kind of scale that leads off of G sharp, Let's see if we can make a really quick melody with it. Now one thing that's making this difficult at the moment is the whole sample plays each time. We need to alleviate that a little bit and we also don't want it to be able to play over itself. So here where it says group, we want to cut um, and what we want to do, we want it to cut it by itself. So we do group one, and cut self, it's going to do this for us here. So two cuts by two, meaning it won't ever play over itself. That's going to change how our playback sounds so it's not laying them over each time and we can do much faster runs now that's an introduction to the really basic version there is a further version of the sampler that we can add in and we can create this and then bring the sound straight into it as well so over here on our step sequencer, we're just going to use the add one feature and the sampler shows up here. So we're going to add one and we've got a sampler two here. And it looks almost the same. Just notice that there is this little handle in the middle. So we're going to take this a step further. We're going to bring this original sound and we're going to drop that into the new sampler here. I'm going to switch to this section here and this is our ADSR envelope. So in the next video I'm going to explain what ADSR does because it's really important as we dive deeper into more of the samplers.